Hello, awesome people. Welcome to DIY Solar Homestead. I got an offer, found it on eBay. I'm gonna put a link down below. 250 watt solar panels for $39.90. So I ordered 10. Well, I got more projects than that. So I had difficulty getting it in. Wait one. So I ordered I tried to order 10 more. I contacted the individual and he said, make an offer. So I had to click on make an offer at eBay. And it wouldn't go through, so I had to, then I realized I need to click and I need to add 39.90 per panel. So it went through that time. I contacted him again. I said, I just ordered 10 more. Because what I wanted to do with the first 10 to see what the shipping and handling was as to whether or not I could afford the other 10 more. At that time, he said he could put those 10 solar panels on top of the same skid. And it was like half the price for shipping and handling at that point. But I got the figures here. So each 10... It's 399.9. The first shipping and the handling was like 222. And the second one was 125 for a total of for 20 solar panels at 250 watts each. 1186.98. If that's what you want to do. If you if you can afford to buy 20 used solar panels. So, it comes out 59.35 per solar panel. I'm not going to keep all of them. I'm probably going to give a couple of them away here and there. There's a gal that wants to have her minivan converted to a tiny home. She just wants to travel, stop at a state park, get a job for a while, and then move, whatever. So one solar panel might go to her. Uh, 250 watts times four peak sun hours here would give her a thousand watts. And she got a tiny solar generator. Can't think of the name of it right now, but five five kilowatts, and uh, it'll give you 500 watts per hour. And I thought that was amazing because she's, maybe she's going to run. The refrigerator maybe she's gonna run like a cooler refrigerator uh, and a laptop so that'll be enough maybe she'll want 480 watts <laughs> so I don't know we'll see time will tell I just want to let you know that is an affiliate link down below I'm gonna to have to buy charge controllers Probably some grid tie inverters. I get, maybe I got enough of those. I'm going to need a few things for the... I might keep 14 of the solar panels. So, I think that's everything in a nutshell. I'm going to, oh, everybody that has converted their solar system from 12 to 24 and you have solar products out there, shoot a video. I might be interested in buying some of your old stuff if you went from 24 volts to 48 volts or 36 volts. Start making videos of all the extra stuff that you have laying around. You always wonder what you're going to do with it. Don't let it sit there forever. Maybe I'll buy it because I might not be able to afford all the products I need that are brand new. Might as well just buy your stuff. It's still probably three, four years old. Probably still pretty much brand new. Maybe I'll buy it. I'm gonna start putting in a lot of overtime. I got a buck quarter raise, so and I'm running 50 hours right now, so I, it's a little better. So shoot your videos. Let me know. I might be interested in buying some of the your solar products. I might end up having to buy more batteries. I might uh oh. What, what is it called? Well, for like a dump load, if my batteries get up to 
26.5 volts that it can click and I can hook it up to grid tie inverters at that point and, and shoot that uh, electric meter backwards. Alright, thank you for watching and have a beautiful sunshiny day.